You need to ask yourself, where I am 20 to 15 years later, do I see myself in the same spot? And am I happy here? If you are able to say yes, then that is the right place. But if you are saying no, then you need to change. So the best thing is always be positive. And that is why we have books like The Power of Positive Thinking, The Power of Now, the Power. all these are think, uh, talking about positive thinking. You always need to think positive. Live negative. I know that may happen, but don't think of it. No, no, don't think of it. Just ignore. Because destiny will prepare you at that point. But for now, let's not focus on the evil part. Let's talk positive, let's push forward. Let's see how much we can achieve on our life. And use whatever you have now to the maximum. That's what I advise you. You have it now, use it to the maximum. Don't regret later. Get as much motivational speaking as possible. Get as much motive as possible. Understand as much, get knowledge as much to have. That is good for you. Just like a, a relation, when you pick your wife or husband, if your choice was wrong then, it will never be right later. Yeah, there is a lot of things you need to try. <laughs> you need to read the book, The Hidden Self, to, for you to understand, because this is a, a quite step-by-step -step situation that you need to understand. You have tried, you have struggled, you have tried everything. It's not happening, then you need to change. But if you are there already, then why should you change? You need to reflect, you need to understand yourself. Then you can be successful. Just you need to understand yourself. We need to understand ourselves to be able to eradicate the criticism that is there with our society. That is what I'm preaching. So if we are able to understand ourselves and eradicate the, the criticism that our society, we can easily move forward. But now, how do we keep moving forward? How, what motivates us? Some people use like motivational books, yeah? To get there, yeah? Why? Because, okay, people, they pass, they fail, they this, they that. And it helps us one, one way or the other, right? But uh, basically, once you know yourself and you understand the passion that you have, the impetus that drives you, that is all that you require. If you cannot have this, you don't have this, then it's quite difficult to survive in any situation. Accept your society, accept the way they are. I didn't tell you not to accept them. Accept them there. But do not let them influence you. That is my purpose of talking to you. Don't let them influence you. Once you allow them to influence you, that is where the disaster begins. Now you cannot make decision on your own. You get my point? If you cannot make decision on your own, so that everyone will tell you what to do, that is good. And you'll be following blindly, not knowing what to do. Because you do this today, tomorrow someone else says, no, no, this is not a good guy. Do this one. This is better. Influences are there. I, I, I cannot disagree with that. But the thing is, at that point of the influence, how many of us will make the right choice? That is where now it makes you different. If you are able, in the, despite of harsh circumstances and influences that society is creating in you, you are able still to make the right choices, now that is success. You are a genius on your own. You are rare. And that is the breed I'm trying to inflict in every one of us. To be able to be unique. However far or much influence we receive in our society, we still are who we are. No one can change you. You are who you are. And that's what matters. And that is what uh, my court says. Obstacles and hurdles are not just mere incidents in our life. These obstacles and hurdles are not just mere incident in our life. What do they do? They are indeed rites of passing, purpose to prepare us for the life challenges that lie ahead. There is some success that is coming ahead, but if this pressure, I cannot handle, that I cannot handle the top pick. I must handle these bottom pressures that are here to be able to be top of the market. It's quite hard when you're climbing a mountain. Quite hard, right? Quite hard. It's a struggle. But once you reach there, that is what success. Coming down is much easier. But going up, that is where the different part begins. A lot of parents today tell their kids what to do. Not how to do it, just what to do. What is right, that's it. And what is wrong. 
But if you are able to understand what is wrong on your own, that is becoming creative. If you are able to know what is good on your own, that is creative. It's a good influence your mother, but you need to weigh your options. You have to have so many options. I was told by my grandfather, speaking is what you already know. So when you speak, you are just delivering what you want. But you need to understand, when you listen to so many people, you get different ideas from so many people. So who is better? The one who is speaking, who repeats whatever he knows, or the one that is listening, and there's so many people that are giving ideas and, uh, and concepts that you never know. So who is better? Yes. And that is the difference between the two ears and one mouth. So what is supposed to do more job? The ears, right? That is creativity. So this end, thank you for your time to share with us uh, uh, with so many thoughts and so many aspirations and kind of motivational thoughts. And with a small gift, I'm right to give you due as appreciation for your thoughts. So Hans, would you like to give us a very nice picture?